22 things you need to know about dating apps before you begin using them. Increase your dating app knowledge by 1000% just by reading this blog post. 1. If they don't know English and they say they live one town over from you, they are scamming you from Nigeria or somewhere. 2. If they call you stupid or try to make you feel bad in any way at all, they are a scammer. Meeting people today should feel good. 3. If you can't see their face, something is up. 4. If they use words or phrases that normal people don't use, if they talk like a Shakespeare play, it's suspect. 5. If they want your number really quickly, don't give it to them. 6. If they give you their number really quickly, don't call them. 7. If they ask you to go off the app, don't do it. 8. If they talk about not having any money and give you some sob story, don't fall for it. 9. If they talk about you paying for transport or travel right away or even later on. 10. If they don't answer your questions about dating. 11. If they don't answer your questions at all. 12. If they ask you, what are you looking for on here? What experiences have you had on this site? Be careful. 13. If they don't know how to use the internet. 14. If they respond with, right away to something logical. 15. If they have not viewed your profile at all, but are still writing you messages. 16. If they give you a phone number that is not the same area code as the state they say they live in. 17. If they act like they are a prostitute. 18. If they are trying to control the conversation in almost any way. 19. If they don't submit to your frame and are constantly ignoring your questions and sticking with their script. 20. If they joined today and have not been a member to the dating site for long. 21. Anything done in an illogical fashion is suspect. 22. And don't be afraid to report them to the dating site you're on, so their accounts get deactivated. Basically, online dating is a sales routine. Last night, I realized the way I was going at it on these dating sites is the same as when I had a sales job. Lead generation on steroids. Going through lead after lead and messaging them and then asking them questions in a script I learned over at Playing Fire and determining if they were fake. Keep going and don't stop. I can be pretty sensitive and sometimes depressed. So I am proud of myself for going at it in this way, like it is sales, but I wish it was easier. Easy on the hand job. I don't want to get carpal tunnel and wear one of those fed up black gloves when I finally get a date. Do your due diligence and read blogs posts and books about dating online. Subscribe. Put a link to this post on your website or share it on your Twitter or Facebook.